So today I wanted to show you how to make fresh pizza sauce. We're gonna go straight from tomatoes and also a little bit quicker method and turn it into some of the best pizza sauce you've ever had. So most of the tomatoes I picked are the San Marzano, which are trusted as some to be the only type of tomatoes that should go in your pizza. But I have a good variety. I've got some cherry tomatoes. These ones are blueberry tomatoes, mortgage lifter. And of course, the orange habanero, we're not gonna put that in our sauce though. Now you don't have to be like me and grow it in your backyard. You could always just open up a can. As long as it's a can of San Marzano tomatoes imported from Italy. Now these are grown in the shadows of Mount Vesuvius and coincidentally are the most expensive canned tomatoes I've ever bought. So if you wanna save a little bit of cash, just go use a can of whatever crushed tomatoes you have on hand and it'll work out just fine. And since I'm not very good at making pizza sauce, I'm gonna leave Mrs. Grill Top Experience to show you how to do it. Hi guys. So the first thing you're gonna do is take all of your tomatoes, cut them in half, and take the seeds out because you don't want those in your sauce. Now every time I watch you do this, I wanna say, say hello to my little friend. And when you're done, you should have about two pounds of tomatoes. Set your broiler to high. And place all of your tomato halves on the cookie sheet, cut side down. And then you'll put that in your oven for three to four minutes. You're going to know that it's done when the skins turn black and it fogs up your camera lens. If you cooked your tomatoes long enough, the skins should slip right off. So once all the skins are removed, put the tomatoes in your blender. Add a couple cloves of garlic. And then pulse that just until the tomatoes are crushed. You don't want it to be totally smooth. Heat your pan over medium heat. Add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Pour in your crushed tomatoes or your can of crushed tomatoes if that's what you're using. Put in a quarter teaspoon of salt, a little bit of pepper, and your Italian seasoning. Then we're gonna bring this up to a simmer and let it go for about 20 minutes. This will cook a lot of the water out of it and intensify the flavors. Now when your sauce is as thick as you want it, or it looks about like this, you can remove the pan from the heat. You can add in a little bit of fresh basil, which is my favorite. And if you want to kick it up a notch, add some extra garlic to make it Detroit style, or you can make it a little bit spicy with some cayenne pepper. I like to add a little touch of balsamic vinegar. In the end, the sauce should be your own, so add whatever ingredients you like and experiment a little bit. Now you want to keep your layer of sauce pretty thin on the pizza. If you put too much on, the pizza will be soggy and the cheese won't stick to the crust. And if you want to see more videos about making pizza, I've got how to make the dough and different methods of cooking it both on a charcoal and a gas grill in this playlist right over here.